What's up guys, this is David Trigg. And I've been thinking about the question, what makes someone not anxious? You know, we hear a lot about people that are dealing with anxiety and you might be somebody who's been told or maybe you feel in your body that you're an anxious type. But instead of asking the question of what makes you anxious, I wanna to talk to you about what makes us not anxious. You know what I'm saying? Because instead of focusing constantly on our problems and on the things that make us worry and answering people's questions about what anxiety is and what it isn't. We need to focus on the positive things in life, the things that we actually long for. Who longs to be an anxious type? I don't. Who longs to just simply live the rest of their lives trying to be less anxious? Nobody. You and I want to actually live lives of adventure, lives of joy. Lives of what I like to call here, lives of gozo, which means joy. And so what are the things that make someone truly come alive and truly live a life of not anxiety? Well, I think there's just simply one big, huge thing that's worked in my life, that I know for many of you has worked in your life, and that there is no doubt in my mind that it's the one thing that we all need. And it starts with the letter A, and that's the word adventure. <laughs> that's it. You need to discover your God-given sense of adventure. And I know that maybe you're saying, I don't know what my adventure is. I don't, maybe I tried to live out my dreams and it didn't work. My business failed. My music career never took off. I tried to be a, you know, to start my own company, my own business, and it just went bankrupt. But that doesn't matter. You know how many times I have failed at a bunch of things? Whether it's in business, whether it's in, in my own uh, career, in education. So many obstacles along the way that could have made me stop. And that really made me anxious. But instead of letting those things become the end of my life, or be the end of, of all things for me, instead, I focus once again on my adventure. And what is adventure? What does that mean? Well, what I mean by adventure is that it's that childlike dream that you had when you were a little boy, a little girl. And I know that for many of us, that seems to have been years and, and like an, even another like world. Like you don't even remember what that was. But I want to tell you that's still in there. And I guarantee you that that, that that dream, that that idea, that that focus, whatever that may be, is still in you and it's longing to come out. Oh, you might have a bunch of excuses. Come on, you might be thinking, I'm too old. I have no money. I failed. I don't have the education. I don't have the right tools. The, everyone tells me that I'm a failure. I myself, you might be thinking, feel like, I can't do this. Why try it again? Like, to, to fail again? I know exactly what you mean, and all of that are simply lies. You know how many people live that way? That's why they're anxious, because they've given up on their own dreams. You and I need to rediscover that sense of adventure. For me, it's been one thing and one thing alone, and that is to do music and to speak. So maybe that's two things. To do what I'm doing, to encourage you, and to play music which really is the same thing. It's just to encourage you through music or encourage you through t by talking. I talk all the time. Ask my kids. <laughs> this is my dream. And do you think it's been easy? No way. You know how many people have by, either just by their looks or just even just by, by the way they kind of like, you know, uh, the way I perceive them have, have told me that I can't speak, that I shouldn't be, you know, so upbeat that I should be more this way or more that way? You know how many times I have been told literally by people that my music just isn't that good? And forget what people say, you know how many times I've believed that? Tons of times, hundreds of times. But here I am. Last year I recorded my first CD of my own songs and now I'm recording my second CD with my own son playing drums. And here I am, in terms of speaking, helping you doing these videos, being online, just helping you be who you are meant to be and to not be an anxious person. 
You know, I think all these other ways on how to handle anxiety are so important. And there are gonna be more videos coming up in the next few weeks and months to help you understand more about anxiety. But the thing that I wanna tell you is live your God-given adventure. Take time to think about what is my adventure. And if it takes you weeks, maybe even months to come up with that, take your time. And if you can't even come up with it after, after a while, ask someone that you love. Ask someone who loves you, what do you think is my great adventure? I'm convinced that if you focus on that and you stop living just to not be anxious, just simply to not be worried or to you know, try to cope with your, with your fear, your depression. That instead if you live a life of adventure and you take time to think about what that is and to then take steps, no matter your age, no matter what obstacles, to actually live that out, that you truly will be living what I like to call a life of gozo.